All right, time to play some H3VR. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, been gone doing uh, some family stuff. Had to take care of some things, but uh, yeah. It's been like, what, a week and two days since the last video? So that means we got an update and uh, a devlog video, if I remember correctly. But uh, we're going to focus on the uh, previous week's update, the one that I missed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's just get right to it. All right, first off, we've got ourselves some more options for the hand smoothing and filtering. Let me just find the center of my play space here. As you can see there, this is over here. And the main options menu, hand smoothing and filtering. Boom. So right now I've got it all set off uh, on, on off. <laughs> Sorry about the set off on off. That doesn't make any sense. But uh, yeah, so let's just go through these. All right, first one is the hand filtering mode. Uh, and that's just general, I guess, for, you know, guns and stuff. So you can do smooth guns only, smooth all objects. I think this one Anton showed off. Well, let's just grab ourselves a pistol. I should have done this a while ago. Had this all set up, but uh, I guess not. So basically, I think this, uh, let me just, oh, no, nope, that's not it. This one, let's turn that off. So we're going to do what Anton does. Basically with this off, like you saw in the video a uh, week before, <laughs> uh, if you forgot, well, I'm going to show you. Uh, yeah, basically no smoothing. It's one to one. If you got shaky hands, then uh, yeah. So when you turn on smooth guns only, as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, smoothing happening, smoothing action on the gun there. It's more prominent when it's slowed down. So if you do it fast, you won't you know no notice it. But a lot of people commented on that, so Anton decided to fix that, I think. But if you do it slow enough, you can see the gun kind of just, you know, kind of just lag behind a little bit. Up, down. Makes aiming at things a little bit harder, I guess, if you're going slow and smooth. So, yeah, there is a little bit of a lag there. Yeah, especially if you're going slow. If you're going fast, hopefully you can get this on target, but... Well, you can change that. And um, that only applies to guns, though. So, basically, magazines are fine. But if you smooth all objects, then magazines do that, too. Uh, magazines, melee weapons, all other stuff. So, you can turn that off if you want to just guns only, or you can use the raw mode, which uh, should be okay. Ooh. That was a little sound check right there. <laughs> let's see. All right, let me see if I can, uh, let's do smooth guns only and let's turn off the controllers here. So if we can hit that, uh, hit that watermelon right there, that's a perfect distance as you can see right there. Uh, let's see, smooth guns only. Oh, forgot to do that one. Two hand stabilization. But that's the other option. So uh, basically, people didn't know about this. Some people didn't, uh, but uh, uh, mostly newer players. But if you have your other hand next to your weapon hand, your main dominant hand holding the weapon, you can get some stabilization with two-handed uh, or with pistols. Now, stabilization for like rifles and stuff, you have to grab onto the foregrip, but you could also stabilize. It's not not a, not as uh, much as this, but uh, but yeah. So basically, if you put your controller next to it, next to your other hand, you can stabilize your grip. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, clear this. Let's go to uh, reset. This is gonna come in fast and hard. You can see that target coming. Whoop! Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, ten meters. There we go. A little uh, closer than the watermelon there, but... Uh, so, let's see. Let's just disable that for right now. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, smooth guns. 
Ooh, all right, let me. I mean, I don't, I, you know, I, it was never really a problem to me, so it was never a problem that needed fixing. But for some people, I guess, because um, I'm not the fastest aimer in the world. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, probably notice I'm not the fastest person in the world. So maybe, I don't know, to my untrained eye, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to turn that on. It doesn't really bother me too much, but some people... They go slow, I guess. You'll see it kind of not, kind of lag behind. But, uh, yeah, so. I hit something back there. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't, uh, doesn't bother me too much. And I have the, um, whatchamacallit, the pistol grip uh, two hand stabilization turned off, so. I think my shot grouping for pistol right here might be a little... Hold on just a second. There's like a hair trapped in my in my headset and it's tickling me. <laughs> I need to clean this thing out. Uh, let's reset this and uh, let's begin a new set. Let's do an actual good test here. So one magazine, no stabilization on the pistols. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but right. So that's uh, there we go. The first magazine there. Let's do a new set. Let's reset the target, and let's enable two-hand stabilization. Again, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it seems like it's a tighter grouping because of the stabilization that might be a, uh, that might be a placebo effect I don't know <laughs> I am not that great so don't uh, don't uh, think I'm the greatest shot in the world but it, it does um, I should do one more test without stabilization let me just turn this off without this other hand here It seems like it's a little worse, right? We'll do another test. I just like shooting this gun too, so. <laughs> do another test. You can see there it's a little uh, staggered, uh, the uh, hits there. So now let's uh, disable and then. I'm not so sure what this option changes. Again, it looks like it's. Uh, all right, compared to the previous one. Well, let's begin a new set. Let's actually turn this on and uh, let's see if we can uh, get a bit more. Huh, I don't know if that's... Hmm, okay. Uh, well, maybe I'm just a terrible shot. <laughs> uh, again, this is this is like really for the hardcore uh, accuracy fanatics out there. Um, uh, you know, the pistol two two hand stabilization. That's you know, that's for those people, right? I'm fine with enabling both of those, uh, just the smooth guns only, and uh, two hand stabilization. All right, let's get to the actual like for me the the actual good part, which is the long gun stabilization. As you can see with the parentheses, it helps with sniping. And uh, there's some new options now. Back then, uh, before this update, it was uh, either disabled or always on. But now there's a new option when trigger held. So let's uh, let's see, what do I, I grab this one, this one right here. Hopefully the uh, spectator cam is working properly. Right. I'm not using the bipod, so it's not gonna, my head's not gonna go through the scope here, but uh, that should be working. All right, let's uh, clear this. And uh, that's a new set, right? So, oh, also, I'm going to zero this to about 400 meters. And we are going to go the max distance here. Uh, max allowable distance in this range is about 400 meters, so 399. 
Okay, so this is, again, without the uh, stabilization, as you will see, it's going to be a little bit shaky. Oh yeah, look at that. Not helped by my talking. As you can see, every time I talk, the thing jumps around a bit. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, look at that. Hopefully you guys can see that, and the spectator cam is not messing up, but it is very jittery. As I mean, it's obvious because the stabilization is off. And of course, the other option before was always on, so obviously makes it a lot more smoother. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not going to take a shot because that would just be... Well, I could take a shot. I need to calm down first, though. All this talking has uh, gotten me winded and making my hands all shaky. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I just... I need more exercise, I guess. <clears throat> okay, breathe in, breathe out. Relax. I need to actually find the center of my play space, too, so I don't bump into anything. Just relax. It's not on the black, but uh, it hit the paper, so <laughs> that's a good thing, I guess. But uh, yeah, so that's the always on. And now, like I said earlier, uh, what Anton added was this new option here, when trigger held. So basically, uh, basically, to activate the long gun stabilization, you just have to have your hand on the uh, the forward grip or any kind of like. Uh, forward grip attachment <clears throat> and uh, press the trigger to uh, sort of like I guess uh, in some games that would be like uh, uh, you know using the uh, shift key for you know to stabilize your uh, your aim you know like in sniper elite or something like that but uh, basically yeah as you can see it's very jittery and shaky but once I press the uh, trigger on my uh, non-dominant hand, my right hand, right now, it smooths out. Ooh. Ah, I missed. All right, let's get this, uh... I like to add that effect, right? <laughs> when you hold your breath, or, uh, yeah, you exhale, right? When you're sniping. Oh wow, that's a that was a pretty good shot. Not not bullseye, but uh, it's on the nine ring. <laughs> oh okay, I'll, you know what? I'll stop doing that uh, breath sound effect. <laughs> I'll stop making that uh, noise. Oh wow, that's another good shot right there. Oh, we're out of ammo. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool option. I think uh, it kind of um, uh, what was I about to say? What was I going to say about it? Uh, it's you know you kind of uh, think that the always on option is a little bit cheaty, although it, it there is a you know there is a penalty in the fact that your gun kind of you know if you turn always on, your gun kind of moves a little slow. Oh, I wish I could show that. And why is my game slowing down? Is it because I'm recording? Oh, oops. Um, firearms objects. No. Yes. There we go. So, as you can see, always on. Your gun kind of lags behind. But it does make, you know, the shots a lot easier. Uh, I'm not going to shoot because I'm going to waste ammo. But uh, it makes shots a lot easier. So, it's you know, some people kind of regarded it as sort of very, you know... Uh, not cheaty, but uh, it it kind of makes things easier. But with this new option, it sort of makes it like you know you actually you know you have to think about it now, right? So you still got the shaky, you know, scope moving all over the place. But then once you really focus, <sighs> there we go. Oh, I missed. It was a little uh, low there, but uh, not relaxing enough. But. Uh, yeah, you know, makes everything a little bit easier. 
Whoa, that's pretty good. Got out on the, uh, what was that, the eight ring? Nice. But you have to actually, you actually, you actually have to think about it, right? So, like, if you want to stabilize, you just press a trigger. Sort of like, again, pressing the shift key in, like, say, Sniper Elite or, you know, one of those other games that has snipe rifles, Call of Duty, I guess. I haven't played Call of Duty in a while. I don't know if they still have that feature. But uh, you actually, yeah, like I said, you, you actually have to think about when you want to, uh, uh, metaphorically speaking, hold your breath, right? So. Oh, I did not. I always forget. Bolt action's really hard for me to remember. Oh, I missed. All right, one more time. Ah, I didn't quite get the uh, the inner rings, but uh, that's on the three, I think. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the trigger held option. I really like that idea. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, those are the new smoothing uh, filtering options. I did see the latest devlog, by the way, with the uh, tactical reload. I'll talk about that when that comes out. But uh, well, I mean, uh, you know, I'll just say one thing. I'm not really much of a tack reload kind of guy, but again, I will explain that when it comes out, but it's still an interesting concept. Uh, all right, so those are the new filtering options, and um, I wonder if this will work this time. I tried to set this up, but I put a uh, rail cam on the um, on the on this uh, MRAD here, and I wonder if this will work. Let's just go to enable the cam preview here and let's try turning off the smoothing. And hopefully that uh, is pretty good. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, increase the magnification. I was, yeah, it was, it was funny. I was shooting with the uh, 15 times magnification on uh, the other, the, um, the uh, op or the uh, AWM, right? So this one is 32 times, so you guys can see that more clearly. But we're going to do uh, a couple more shots with the MRAD here. And you know what? I am going to turn off the controller geo. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, that's weird. What is going on there? Oh, that's, uh, that's, my, that's the um, AWM. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, that's right. I can't see with this camera on, so I'm going to move this, uh, this cam preview here. I'll use that as a screen, and hopefully I can get a good shot. <laughs> it's kind of hard looking at the screen. Okay. Yeah, I can't really see that target. And the virtual stock is not letting me go past the camera, which uh, I would like to do. But that's okay. I will try. I will. I will try. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. I could stack up another um, scope here. I could do that. Right? That would be possible. Wait a minute. Hold on. 400 meters? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, making sure I got my thing zeroed. I could do that, but then that, there'd be like three scopes here, and uh, <laughs> that my game would slow down. So I'm going to try this. So, you know, this is going to be a little weird here, but uh, yeah, enabling the uh, trigger, sniping assist. Okay, let me just uh, reacquire my target here. Oh, I missed. One more time, one more time. I think I almost had it, too. Oh, just a little low. I actually hit, uh, you know what? Let's turn this off. Uh, this is uh, yeah, not really a good idea. <laughs> like I said, I can't, I can't really see with this in the way. So <laughs> it's not a great idea. But as you can see on the paper, I did hit the target at least on the two ring. And uh, yeah, let's just take this off and remove uh, this rail. And I'm going to do one more.
Oh, I can't believe I didn't load another round in there. Reacquiring my target here. Oh, on the six ring. Just a little bit up and to the left. Oh, man. Oh, it's getting a little closer there on the seven ring. Where's my target? There it is. I see it. Ah, <laughs> was too busy. Uh, talking. Well, not talking, but uh... yeah, on the other side, huh? All right, one more time. Let's just do this until the magazine runs out. Oh, man. Okay, I need to uh, relax. Loosen loosen the uh, muscles here. Whew, okay. Uh, whoops. Okay, just need to shake it off, you know? Shake it off. Whew, all right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, oh, man. Still got a couple more uh, bullets in here. Let me just check. Oh, we got one more. Uh, two more, so. Let's make this count. Oh, there we go. Right there. Right on the nine ring. Not a bullseye, but hey, it's good. That's why I, I, I love this feature now. It makes long range sniping a lot better. Although, I still need to relax. Ah. Yeah, that was just me not re not really relaxing. Kind of rushing through it. But, uh, yeah, there are your uh, hand smoothing and filtering options. Really, really cool. I really want to play some Taken Hold, but I, I'm just kind of exhausted since I just got back. So, I might do it uh, sometime within the week uh, if I have time. <laughs> but... Uh, That'll, yeah, that'll be for another time. Okay, so, uh, let's see. What else was in the update? Uh, I th oh, yes, that's right, that's right. Well, you know, I don't want to show it here, so let's actually go to the main menu. It's going to take a bit to load here. How much time have we got on our recording? 22 minutes? Oh, well, feels like it's been a long time, but... Uh, all right, well, let's go to the proving ground, and uh, my back is just killing me. <laughs> the pains of getting older. Uh, oh, man. Just need to... Uh, all right. Got this load, and I don't know if my game crashed or not. Uh, hopefully it didn't crash. Seems like it's still... Oh, there we go. Okay, ooh. Oh. Things are a little freezing. All right, here we go. I get to check out the new Meat Fortress weapon. This is... Let me just uh, find a place for it here. And this one, too. This is the Medical 180. So, if you look at it... Again, I think Anton probably commented on, on it. But it looks like the uh, American 180. But fires uh, these... Uh, these needles, right? Which is uh, obviously the medic's staple ammunition. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, cool. But you just slap that baby on there. It's got that little uh, hinge. Um, I forgot what, <laughs> what are these are called. Um, oh my goodness, I'm blanking out here. Uh, gravity grab thing. Thing grab. The, the thing you, you grab. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Oh my goodness! I'm I just having a brain fart. It'll come to me sooner, uh, sooner or later. But uh, yeah, so it's got that wobbly bit there, and I thought the um, the stock could fold. That would be really fun, but uh, yeah, it doesn't fold. That's okay. But if I like I said, it fires these uh, darts, uh, darts needles. As you can see there, let's grab one of those. Oop. Oop. 
there we go. Little syringes, obviously. Uh, it's a medic thing. And um, I should spawn some Meat Fortress characters. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's just uh, spawn Sosig. Let's see. Meat Fortress Blues. All right. Uh, boop. Oh, no. Game loading. There we go. We got the scout. Let's uh, get a soldier. Get a pyro. Demo. Got ourselves a heavy. The uh, NG. The medic. Sniper. And a spy. The whole cast is here. All right, let's put that away and let's grab a gun. And uh, yeah, so it's basically just like a medic. Uh, sorry, the needle gun, which I should spawn. Medic, a syringe gun. That's what it's called. <laughs> but well, yeah, I think the difference between the two is that the uh, syringe gun. It's full auto, doesn't have as much ammunition, whereas this one has a lot of ammunition, and, but only shoots in semi-auto, uh, unless I'm missing a feature. I don't think so, nope. Yeah, I think it's just semi-auto, so that's a kind of a balanced thing uh, that Anton decided. Look at that, just that, that wibbly-wobbly bit, I just love that. But uh, yeah, balance feature. So, you know, I mean, it has a lot more ammunition, uh, a lot of ammunition. So let's just uh, fire this off. I won't kill these guys yet, but uh, yeah, it fires a little slower and uh, and it's semi-auto. So, like I said, I'm holding the trigger here. Nothing's happening. So it is semi-auto. Oh, <laughs> that'd be nice if... Uh, if I could do a little, let's just move you over here. Oh, no. Come on. I think I can move you here. All right? Ah, oh, man. As you can see. Oh. There we go. I got him. Each and every one of you is dog meat. Anyone out there? I think my head around the display stop bumping. This thing has a lot of ammo. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, now it's empty. Finally. Oops, let me spawn lock this. And uh, yeah, so uh, like I said earlier, it's balance. I think it's a balance thing. Whereas the other, the uh, syringe gun, full auto, fast fire. Fast fire, faster firing. Sorry, but uh, not not that much ammo. Which, oh, look at these models. This is a pretty, pretty cool looking gun. Although you know the American 180 is a pretty cool looking gun. Let's uh, let me let me spawn an American 180 just to uh, just to get. Oh, the American 90? No, no, the American 180. It is a pretty cool looking gun. Funky looking, but it's cool nonetheless. Oh, the reloading it is kind of hard, though. I have to say, though, at least um, with the uh, medical 180, it's kind of left-handed friendly when you think about it. The bolt is on the uh, right side. So reloading this thing. You know, I'm left-handed. If you didn't know that, if you didn't notice, now you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh wait, that's right. This one also uh, the I have the uh, the what should we call it? The stabilization assist. So it's off right now. But if I hold the trigger, it's a little bit you know not that useful with a gun like this. It doesn't 
don't really know how to use the sights for this. It's kind of... Hmm. Well, you don't need sights. If you're a Team Fortress 2 character, you don't need sights. Sights are for babies. <laughs> uh, I think that's what uh, one of them said. I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time since I played me uh, Team Fortress 2. That is a lot of ammo. It takes a long time to empty that one. But uh, yeah, there you go. The medical 180. All right. And the last thing that we have, let me just uh, clear out this uh, uh, commands. Let's uh, explode all, delete all. And let's spawn a couple more. Let's go with the uh, heavy, the hoovy. Because that's the medic's uh, main partner, right? I never really played much of Medic, but uh, I think that was it. So we got this, which is the Medic's Grenade. This is the Ubernade. And um, I'll be completely honest with you guys, I kind of uh, forgot what the effect was. So I might be wrong. Um, I'll probably say it in the comments or something uh, after I rewatch the video. But uh, basically, I think it's a, it, it helps um, Ubercharge for a short period right after you throw the grenade and this thing is loud so uh i don't know if you, ca you calibrated your speakers yet but so yeah it's a very short uber charge and um yeah pretty much all these heavies let's see how far the range is that's just, whoops, I didn't mean to put you next to me. That's all right. You get closer. There we go. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I want. I want to drop this somewhere. There we go. So we're going to drop this in that whole group right there and see how far this goes. Yeah, and a decent range, decent amount of uh, SOSIGs get uh, enhanced with the Uber charge. Yeah, those four down there aren't uh, touched. Oh. Should be impact, right? There we go. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you uh, don't throw it hard enough or maybe far enough. Oh, nope. I lost it. Or maybe it has to hit a character, right? Nope. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just throw it into your face. There we go. So if you you have to throw it hard enough, and add a character, I guess. I I don't know if you can. Oh, you can't throw it in the ground. Okay. So I think it just um, I think it has to be like a very hard throw, because if you just drop it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it has to be a very like forceful throw. At least. You can't just drop it or half... You can't half-ass your throw. You know, you gotta... You can't do that. Some limp-wristed kind of throw. You can't do that. You gotta... You gotta throw it down. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's what you need to do. Okay, cool. Well, that's the Ubernade. And uh, I'm gonna throw this up. I guess I wasn't throwing hard enough, but... Uh, also, I don't have my controllers strapped to my hand, so I'm kind of worried about throw, throwing my controllers to the wall here, but, uh... Ugh, so... Huh. Is it also time-based? I, I don't know if it's time-based. I mean, like, uh, I guess time in the air uh, is, is what I'm asking? I don't know. What? Because it's a long time in the air here. I don't know. 
I, I've, uh, I'm not too sure on the uh, specifics on um, how long impact grenades uh, need to be in the air or not, but... Uh... Hmm. Maybe distance, I don't know. But that's the uh, Ubernade. Again, all it does is uh, help out your buddies if they need a little tiny mini Uber charge. Well, that's a lot of them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, well, you know what? Let's just, uh, my back's killing me, so. Let's get this over with, let's kill these guys. Oh. Oh no, well. Yeah. I was gonna I was gonna pull out a sniper rifle, but But uh this is a little too close range. Oh mm, I was gonna Did I talk about that? About the grenade launcher uh thing? Well basically what uh oh I maybe I should have talked about this earlier, but uh let me just uh grab a carbine here. Let's uh, grab ourselves a... No, no, assault rifle. Marketing custom. Let's grab this. Yeah, let's just drop this stuff off here. Woo! Get out of here. Whoop, there we go. Got ourselves a magazine. And, uh, let's see. Attachments, attachments. Let's uh, do a... Um, LPVO, low power variable uh, optic. <laughs> Is that what it stands for? Uh. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's do a combo scope. All right, cool. Stick that on there. Let's put a magazine in, and uh, let's just put it on semi-auto. Extend the stock, and let's grab ourselves a grenade launcher. We got Picatinny. Okay, cool. Whoops, get on there. Come on. There we go. So, um, what was I going to talk about? Okay. So, with the sniping assist, uh, I think Anton said that uh, it's kind of unfortunate that grenade launchers, you know, you can't do the sniping assist because, as you know, the, um, the, the sniping assist, long gun assist, right, whatever it's called now, is uh, triggered by a trigger. Obviously, if you push the trigger, ouch, <laughs> that kind of deafened me a bit. Uh, well, in the game, but as you can see, you push the uh, trigger, it's gonna launch the grenade. Uh, yeah, so, you know, Anton said that was a definite, like, uh, kind of a sad thing that he couldn't fix, but that's okay because uh, I personally, when I, whenever I have a grenade launcher, I uh, sometimes miss when I go and grab it. So instead I grab the uh, foregrip. I just phase through. But uh, I don't know, that may be a problem for some people. But it's not a problem for me, so it should be okay. And uh, sniping assist is on. Oh, wait. I don't use grenade launchers that often, but I should. But they're fun. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's about it for today. I know I missed uh, I missed a couple, like, not a couple weeks. I missed a week, and uh, I'm kinda, I was kind of glad that uh, today, or this week's update was more of a devlog video. So that's, you know, I didn't miss too much. But uh, looking at the devlog, recent, the recent one with the tactical reload stuff, that looks pretty interesting. And I can't wait to try that out. But uh, like I said, that's about it for today. And I will see you guys next time.